In this video, I want to talk about something that's incredibly exciting, incredibly entertaining backup strategies. Now, bear with me, hang with me. I know that doesn't sound incredibly exciting or entertaining, but it's incredibly important. Well, we can at least hopefully all agree on that. Because if you're using your computer on stage in any capacity, uh, whether you're a volunteer, you're a professional, you get paid to do this, you're a playback tech, uh, whatever scenario you're in, if you're using your computer on stage, you've got to have some sort of backup strategy. That is 100% a non-negotiable. So what I want to talk about in this video is just some general best practices for backing up. I want to share my personal process of how I manage content uh, and how I manage files and kind of my Mac, uh, backup philosophy and what I do. Uh, but before I get into that, I want to mention one thing that even if you don't hear anything else I say in this video, even if you don't pick anything up uh, else up from this and start doing it, the most important thing is that you start backing up your computer right now, whether that's a time machine backup or some other way. And I would suggest, I'm going to mention these folks later, but Backblaze is what I personally use for uh, just backup to the cloud that works really, really well. There's a couple other resources is a couple other things I do. Again, you could use a time machine if you're on a Mac and just plug a hard drive in, but please start backing up your computer for the sake of, of everyone and all of us and all the content we're going to send you to build live sets. Please back up your computer. Okay, let's dive into kind of my personal philosophy here. Um, there's really three types of folders, three types of content that I manage typically. One, are sets and these are live sets that I've built. Those live sets consist of songs. And if you've been following along on the channel for a while, uh, you're probably familiar with the three part framework for using tracks, which is a framework I created uh, that's being used by thousands of people all over the world to use Ableton Live on stage in a way that's uh, flexible, gives them freedom, uh, it's stable, and it's highly efficient. And in fact, if you want the template that I offer as a part of that, that, uh, that I use to actually format content, and I'll link to all those videos below, then head to From Studio stage.com slash template. You can download that template completely for free. But what I teach is I teach, take that template that's made for live performance, um, take it to format individual song files. So you see songs, you see individual songs that are formatted and then take those songs and build sets. So I manage really three types of folders, essentially when it comes to Ableton content sets that are built of songs that are formatted and created from templates. Okay. So those are the three types of folders that I have um, uh, kind of in my position when it comes to content. Now, what I typically suggest and what I do is I keep all my songs, all my templates um, on an external hard drive. Um, and I do that so that I keep my computer clean. Now, context is everything. Again, I'm going to talk about my personal process. So adapt this to, to whatever works best for you. Context is everything. If, if you're one of those people that buys a Mac computer and spends four grand buying a two to four terabyte internal hard drive, more power to you you can maybe skip some of this, but I want to tell you my process. So I typically tend to buy computers with smaller hard drives because I have external storage and I use that. So I keep, again, talking about folders, I keep that songs folder and I keep that templates folder on an external hard drive. Now I need a drive that has lots of space. I don't need it to be fast because it's only archive. I would say it's, 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 um, uh, I'm not going to work from it necessarily. Uh, so I don't need it to be solid state. If you can afford solid state, great. If not, uh, just get normal hard drive. This is what I use, uh, a eight terabyte mini pro Dura raid. It's USB C. Uh, you could choose between hard disk and solid state. You see the price goes up when you go to solid state again for me, I just use a hard drive version of this because I'm not editing video from it. I'm not recording from it. I'm not building, um, um, you know, I'm not like creating an Ableton song from that. And so, um, I keep all my songs. I keep my templates on an an external hard drive. When I go to build a set, I then take those formatted songs and I build a set on my computer. And at the end of that process, I save my set to my computer and I do collect all and save. And when I do collect all and save, it takes the songs that I brought from that external hard drive. It takes the MIDI clips, the, the audio things that I brought from my templates on that external hard drive. And it saves all of them into my internal hard drive on my computer. Now, um, it's super important to note my computer is a solid state drive. I don't know that you can even buy computers with non solid state drives now, but, uh, that's, that's like super important. Now it used to be, I would run sets off external, uh, solid state drives, but everything tends to be pl plenty fast now, uh, particularly on Mac machines, solid state drive. And I run everything on that. Now, here's something that I tend to do. I do not store my sets long term. In fact, you look on my folder here and uh, look at my computer here and in the sets folder, 
I have nothing. That's because I save sets for about a month. Like if you're, if I think about this in the context of a band that's playing every week, if you're a worship leader leading worship every Sunday using Ableton, I just keep the sets that I have around for about a week. And then after that, I trash them. Now, one thing I do, if there was something special, unique in that set, like we did a medley of two songs back to back, then I just strip out those two songs and I save them as a brand new song. And guess where they go? They go in this songs folder. So that's where I keep those right now. From there, my computer is automatically backed up. When we talked about this earlier, to Backblaze. This is what I use. Uh, and this is an automatic backup. So it just runs. Um, actually, I don't know how often it runs, but it essentially runs every day. I add content to my computer, it automatically gets uh, backed up to Black. Backblaze automatically. In addition to that, what's really cool, Backblaze lets you back up hard drives. So that external hard drive that I have um, that has my songs, has my templates on it, that also gets backed up to Backblaze as well too. Now, in addition to that, that hard drive that has that content on it, has all my songs formatted, has all my templates. I have a, a backup copy of that on Dropbox that I just keep so that I always have access to it. If I need to send a file to someone, I send it through Dropbox. I personally, I know a lot of folks use um, a WeTransfer to transfer files. I use Dropbox. Let's see if I can pull this up. Uh, it's included in my subscription. So that's why I tend to use this. Uh, Dropbox has a service called Dropbox Transfer. I'm trying to see if I can pull this up for you guys. Yeah, here we go. So I'll create a transfer here to pretend it's basically we transfer included in a Dropbox. I can upload files, uh, folders or add directly from Dropbox. And so uh, I tend to use that when I'm sharing files if I need to, but I keep a backup of all my songs, my templates on Dropbox. All my hard drives get backed up to Backblaze as well um, also. Now, another thing I will mention here, um, I tend to keep a one of these hard drives around. In fact, I have two of these, a U32 Shadow USB-C portable hard drive. Uh, this is solid state because I'm working from this. And I believe I have the, if I remember correctly, I believe the two terabyte version of this. And on this, I keep all my plugins. So stuff like Omnisphere, uh, any sample libraries that I'm gonna be working from, building from, uh, particularly if you're watching this, less for live performance and more of like a, producer in the studio, then I would store this content on a drive like this. So the U32 shadow from uh, Oyen Digital is a great solution there. Um, the final step for me, which I've yet to implement, is I have a Mobius Pro 2C. Uh, and this is a like RAID drive. It's a dual, um, a dual bay, two bay uh, RAID uh, hard drive enclosure. Um, this is one of the things I've yet to implement into my setup. So right now I have my computer gets backed up to Backblaze. My hard drives get back up, backed up to Backblaze. I have specific things that are backed up to Dropbox off of those uh, hard drives. The final step for me is I'm going to use my Mobius uh, Pro 2C to kind of back up those hard drives um, internally here, like in-house as well too, right? So that's next uh, for me in the process to get that going. Uh, another thing I'll mention about these U32 Shadows, I have two of these because um, one has all my samples on it. One I tend to keep as like a project drive. So I also do live streaming events. And so I'll record projects, uh, from my A10 mini extreme, I'll record uh, sessions onto that hard drive. And then I have that for clients. I can either give to them to copy or I keep for myself that I upload to Vimeo. Um, I like to try to have a drive I can use as like a project drive. So something that I'm doing temporarily, whether it's live streaming or whether it's, um, building a live set for someone, I can keep it and copy it on that live set, uh, as well as keep it internally just for extra backup it tends to be super, super helpful. So in general, for me, I've got this three folders. If we kind of recap all this sets, songs, templates, sets temporarily stay on my computer for about a month and then get trashed songs and templates stay on uh, my external hard drive. Uh, they're also backed up to Dropbox. Once everything's created, um, I do collect all and save all that uh, on all of that to make sure it always has all the samples. I bring everything, uh, the songs I need for that specific set. I drag to my computer, save Save my live set, collect all and save. Um, sometimes again, if it's a bigger project, I'll back up that that file that's on my computer um, on a like U32 shadow like this. Uh, they have a Dura version, which is really great. And I should mention Oyen Digital in the past has I've partnered with them on a few things, but this is not a sponsored video. They're not paying me to talk about this. I just, I really like their content. So uh, their products, not their content. Well, their content's great too, but uh, their, their products, right? Um, so I, I sometimes will back up on a project drive like that. But most importantly for me, uh, Backblaze is automatically backing up my computer. Uh, I have those hard drives backed up uh, to Dropbox, some specific files on their templates and songs. Uh, and then finally, 
final piece for me that soon will be implemented is that Mobius Pro 2C for kind of like in-house, in-studio backup here. So again, if you take nothing else from this video, start backing up right now. Check out Backblaze, check the link in the description to, to, to get an account started with them. Um, uh, do Time Machine backup on your computer. Uh, do whatever you, you, you need, uh, start that right now. Like you could also do iCloud sync and it syncs between computers, but, um, make sure you're doing backup, not just syncing. Don't just add a Dropbox folder to your computer and it syncs across all your devices. Make sure you're backing things up because a lot of times those sync services are dangerous because if you delete a file, they get deleted everywhere. We don't want that. We want to make sure that, um, our stuff is backed up in multiple places. Typically people suggest three different, uh, sources, you know, uh, uh, maybe internal drive, external drive and cloud service. Um, some people are neurotic and go even further than that, but whatever you do, start backing up. Um, that's the most important thing I think that you could do is start backing up and start backing up today. Now, if you want some suggestions on types of hard drives to get, again, I mentioned Backblaze is a service I enjoy, then head to from studio to stage.com slash gear. You can download my free gear guide and I'm going to give you all my suggestions for gear that I like to say is, is uh, road tested and mother approved. It's gear that, um, has uh, been used on the road, has been, uh, used by lots of people in different scenarios and i've given it personally kind of my two thumbs up approval uh gear that i've personally used that i enjoy so head to from studiostage.com slash gear to download that free gear guide um and then also if you enjoy content like this i post a new video every single day on the channel 10 a.m central so make sure you subscribe and then hit the bell icon to be notified when i post new content what's great about that is if you see the title come across your phone and it's something you're interested in click through watch it if not ignore it and I'll have something new the next day that hopefully you'll enjoy. Thanks so much for watching this one, everybody. And we'll see you on the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye.